is Shani Cole and welcome to my channel. For today's video, we have a review slash first impression of the new fragrance collection by Tory Burch. Tory Burch launched a fragrance collection of five different fragrances called The Essence of Dreams. This is in partnership or collaboration with Shiseido. In 2020, Tory Burch partnered with Shiseido to launch Tory Burch Beauty. And this is the first big launch that's a part of that partnership slash collaboration. There are five fragrances in the collection and I I like them. I'm, about a week ago, I got an invitation to come to my boutique for the boutique, my local store's launch of the fragrances. And they gave me a sample of all the fragrances. So we're gonna be looking at those today and smelling. And I'm just gonna give you my first impressions. I'm filming this about a week and a half after that event. So I don't really remember what they smelled like. So what I'm gonna do is they gave us this little booklet that describes the fragrances. And we're just gonna go through one by one and look at them and talk about each one. I'll smell them and give you my thoughts. I also wanted to say this was like part of that promotion for the launch and they were giving them out also as gifts with purchase. Like if you spent $300, you could get one too if you weren't like invited to the event. But if your store does not have these, and these are available not only in the boutiques, they're also available in the outlet. They, all, they were also giving out individual samples, which were free. So if you want one, just go and ask before you buy. Always try before you buy with fragrances if you can. But they have the individual ones. Pick them up. I will link them all down below. And yeah, just go to your boutique or outlet and just ask for a sample. They're really pushing this fragrance. So I'm pretty sure they'll be happy to give you one. So the first one is Electric Sky. And the booklet says this one is a vibrant fragrance, like energy after a storm. It has a mix of casket flower, lavender, and wood. And it's supposed to be very refreshing. So I'm just gonna spray them on each little card section. I definitely smell the lavender. And it is refreshing. I don't smell the wood. I would say this would be the type of scent that I would wear at nighttime, like when I first get out of the shower, like it's kind of a mood setter. Like if I'm gonna, you know, zhuzh up before bed, put on something nice, refreshing, but also something that's gonna be calming to sleep in, this would be it. It's not a very strong scent. Like I have to keep smelling the paper. Even when I blow it into me, I don't smell it, but it is refreshing and I think it would be more of a nighttime fragrance for me. Okay, Divine Moon is the next one. Let's see, Divine Moon. So the notes in Divine Moon are Lady of the Night Flower, Honey, and Citrus. This is the yellow one. The first one, Electric Sky, was the blue one. Ooh, I like this one. So I like sweet scents. You can really sell, smell the honey in this one. Oh, so this reminds me of Florida. Like I would wear this during the daytime on a sunny day with, you know, just going out with a pair of shorts, a tank top, our beautiful sundress. This is really nice. This is really, it's an exotic blend. It's supposed to give you enchanting yet unique and familiar. I don't know what that means, but the dream is peace for this one. The first one I should have said, the dream for the electric sky is freedom. So each fragrance has a dream word associated with it. I like Divine Moon. Okay, the next one is Sublime Rose. Let's see. And the notes in Sublime Rose are a hint of black currant, warm wood, and classic rose. The dream associated with Sublime Rose is love. Of course, it's a rose. Oh, this smells so good. I love rose scents too. So I'm a sweet and a rosy type of fragrance. This smells, this smells like Louis Vuitton rose defense to me. I don't know if all rose fragrances smell the same, but that's definitely what I'm getting. But a little stronger. I think the wood undernote, undertone, makes this a little bit stronger than rose defense. Okay, this is my second favorite so far, Sublime Rose. 
And I'm not a big fragrance person, you guys. I'm definitely not a fragrance expert. I'm just giving you my little, my nose's, you know, opinion and first impression. Okay, the next one is Mystic Garanthium. And the notes are bergamot, arom aromatic garanthium, and musk. And the dream associated is joy. And this is the purple one. Oh, this is so good. Sorry. This is my favorite so far. I I don't know what. This is like something I've not smelled before. And I'm not familiar with some of these fragrances, though. Like the undertone notes. I'm not a fragrance connoisseur. I just buy what I like that smells good to me and smells good on me. Oh, this smells so good. Okay, so this is my favorite so far. And I, I'm not saying that because it's purple, but it really is nice. Yeah, I like this one the best so far. I feel like this one is the most unique. Like the one that I haven't smelled anything else in the market like. And I feel like out of all of them, like Sublime Rose, you can get a rose fragrance. I think you can definitely get a honey based fragrance. And uh, Exotic Sky wasn't really strong enough. I mean, like I said, it's a nice scent. So this one... <sighs> this one is really like the dream is joy like I feel the joy I feel like I would be like happy to wear this one okay now the last one which is cosmic wood Ooh, this one's good too okay cosmic wood is spicy I'm not getting spice it's cardamom. I don't know. I know I'm saying that wrong, but I'll put. I'm gonna put all the notes, all the prices, and I will link all of them in the description box down below. Jasmine and vetiver. Oh. Okay, the dream associated one. This one is magic, and there's a picture of a sunset on this one. Like this is definitely giving me sunset. This is the evening scent. Like this is the date night out of the. Okay, I completely changed my mind. This one right here. This one right here. I want this. I don't have a date night scent. I would, this would be the one I would get. This would be the one I would get. I'm going to wear, see, I'm going to wear all these and see how they go with my body chemistry. Oh, but this one is the best. Cosmic wood, magical and vibrant, a world of possibilities. Oh. Overall, I didn't dislike any of them. I would say my least favorite was Electric Sky. I would just wear this after I get out of the shower or bath. I don't think it would have longevity. It's very, very light and it's refreshing, but it's extremely light. My I Divine Moon, definitely sweet, summer, you know, unique, different. That honey is, you can really smell it. So Blind Rose, mm, I would probably pass on that one because... I feel like there are better rose fragrances out there and it smells like something I would already have or you could already, you might possibly already have in your collection. It's, it's just a rose scent. It, like I said, it reminds me of a little slightly stronger rose events. Uh, Mystic Garanthium, this is my second favorite. This is very unique. I don't, I still keep, I smell it like even just from the paper, like being next to my nose. It just, it's something I've never smelled before. It's a really nice mixture. And then Cosmic Wood is my favorite because I need a date night scent and this would be it. This would be what I would spray to go out to a club, a party, dinner, dancing, an event. Like I would want to smell like this. This is, this is where it's at. Well, that is all for this video. Just a quick review of the new fragrance collections, Essence of Dreams by Tori Burch. I'm very, very impressed. I have not liked a lot of Tory Burch's fragrances in the past. I've owned the first original one and I gifted that away. I wasn't a huge fan and I love the bottle. They're very nice. I will link them all down below and check them out. Let me know which one is your favorite. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, be safe and be happy. Bye now.